What is up, my Z and G bros? Back for another episode. Uh, hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Uh, today, I'm actually going to be relocating my uh, power steering cooler. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so if you guys aren't familiar with the video I did where I uh, ditched the stock power steering cooler and actually got the uh, Hayden's Trans Saver, Hayden's Trans Saver power steering cooler. Uh, and there it is right there. So basically I'd really like to clean this front up a lot more before I paint the front bumper. Um, so what I'd really like to do is ditch that and then ditch all like the, the hosing and the hard pipe and everything all the way back to where it's just regular hose again. But yeah, so I can have the whole front open and just get air to the radiator itself. Now uh, I was actually looking through a bunch of forms and I came across a good idea so you guys check this out. And once again, my350z.com forums save the day. They're the ones that actually gave me this idea, so check it out. Alright guys, hopefully you guys can see this nice and clear. But uh, this is actually for the uh, Turbonetics Turbo install. That's where I actually found it. So, once you get in there, skip down through... Okay, here we go. So... What they have you do is you can see you unbolt it and then they actually have you do away with all the lines all the way up into the fender well where you're you're doing away with all hard lines you're just to the bottom of the reservoir with the rubber lines and then uh, you basically uh, use just one of your brackets flip it do this little thing and you can actually put it right there on the, the side of the fender well wall. I think it's actually going to work out perfect, man. It's going to be nice and hidden, out of the way. I'm going to ditch all the hard lines and everything, so it'll just be super short lines in there. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, get the front bumper off, man. Now, I've also got some ideas to get some air back in there to it once we get done. So I'm basically going to have to modify the front bumper, but we'll get to that. All right, guys, so first things first, as always, let's go ahead and get that front bumper off there. All right, so now I can go ahead and unbolt that little red bracket from the car. All right, guys, got the bracket off, so now I can go ahead and take the hoses off and start draining everything. All right, man, everything is draining as we speak. Let me go ahead and jump to the uh, trans saver cooler for a second and do a little bit of complaining. Now, there's nothing wrong with this, and if you had it in the right place, work perfect. Definitely a huge upgrade from the, the, the stalker. Um, now, the downside, like where I had it, I guarantee the first big rock that would have came through the bumper would have destroyed this thing. It is nowhere near as strong as the OEM. Like, well, you could see just getting it off how it just tore this thing all to hell. Literally, just, just barely with your fingers, just barely like that. You guys are probably wondering why I'm trashing this right now. It's, it was like 18 bucks, and uh, I've actually got another one. So, so my uh, stalker was actually in pretty crappy shape. Been beat up, hit by multiple rocks and stuff like that. But these things are really made to take quite a bit of abuse. So I actually just ordered another one off eBay. It was like 20, 30 bucks, something like that. And this one's way better shape than mine. But this gives you an idea of all this right here. I'll be doing away with all of that. And then up top, and it connects back into rubber again, just for a second. Then back to metal again, which I'll do away with all that. Then back into rubber where I actually mount this. But you can see, you can't do that with this. These are so strong, man. You're not just gonna bend them by hand. So it's definitely, definitely want to go back to this thing. Because that thing's just a piece of junk, man. But like I said, it worked fine if you had it hidden some, back in somewhere where it was out of the way from getting hit. Definitely a huge upgrade, but it's way too big for, for where I need to install it back in there, and it's just not going to work out right. But this is going to be perfect, man. All right, so first thing I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and get these off there. All 
All right, guys, everything's off. Good to go. All right, so now we can jump back to the guide, and the guide says to remove both mounting brackets from the cooler. So it looks like uh, just a bolt there and a bolt there. Okay, so now it says, after you remove the bracket, remount the left bracket, pointed out in figure 33, which is going to be this side. Uh, remount it to the right side of the cooler, rotated 180 degrees from its original orientation. So, let me go down here, and let's see, okay, right there. So I'm going to take it off the left, but then put it on the right, and then turn it upside down, basically. So basically what we're going to do is this would be your left. So we'd... And these things sometimes so you don't need that one. And yes, sometimes these things are tough to get off there. Alright. There we go. Be a little tough sometimes. And all right, and I also went ahead and took these little pieces off from this side. I'm just gonna transfer them over to right here. All right, I got this piece of transfer over. So now what they're saying to do is to put the left one, which is this, so it'll go like that. And then they said to. Uh, Put this bracket, 180 degrees would be right like that. So the bracket will sit right like that. That should be exactly, yep, that's it. Nice. So let me go ahead and bolt that thing down real quick. All right, guys, all bolted up. And as you can see, it's exactly the way it's supposed to go. So that's gonna work out perfect. All right guys, this point's done draining. So I need to go ahead and remove that bolt right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this thing out of my way so I can see what's going on down inside there. All right, so the easiest way to get this thing off, undo that bolt, undo it from right here. Don't worry, it's not gonna spill out. Maybe just a drop or two. And then just pull this whole thing out. Right like that. And of course, then you can spill it like that. I'm an idiot. Alright, so there's two more brackets I found that need to come off. One of them's for this right here, that bracket. And if you look back inside there, get my hand in there, right there. Just need to unbolt it right there, and I get that off. And there's another bracket right there that needs to come off the firewall. And I'm pretty sure that's where the uh, the bracket that I 180, that should be where that bolts right to, so. All right, so both brackets are loose, as you can see. So now I'll get my pliers and go ahead and take those off. All right, so I just went ahead and took that bracket off up here. Got both the lines, that one off and that one off. So, I'm hoping that I can just push those down and just pull these through one at a time. Let's give it a shot. All right, I'm not using these again, and actually I just twisted it until it snapped off, so it worked out perfect. Oh, there you got it. That was a nightmare, man. All right, so at this point I'm going to go ahead and uh, get everything cleaned up. Get some rags, towels, and uh, get all the power steering cleaned up because I made a mess. It's all over the place. All right, guys, everything's all cleaned up. Actually, used some uh, Dawn dish liquids. It really cleaned everything up real nice. Probably better than it was before. So everything is out of the way. All right, man, so now I can actually take this thing out there, mock it up, and uh, see how well it's going to work, man. Alright, so it should go right down in there like that. And 
That thing should go bolt up right. Right like that, man. So that'll be right like that. It'll basically be right like that. Oh, it's gonna be perfect, man. Perfect. So you definitely gotta give it up to Turbonetics, man, because that's a pretty amazing spot to put this thing. It's perfect. Um, it looked like it was gonna like actually stick up there, but once you get it mounted, I'll be able to kind of slide it up and down, whichever I want. I was just kind of holding it in a particular spot, but it can go like this or that. And as you can see, this is the actual coolant bottle right here, so there's more than enough room. All right, so let me go ahead, run out here and get the lines hooked up to this, and we'll go from there. All right, so just in case you guys are wondering, it doesn't matter which line goes to which side, but I'm gonna go ahead and follow their diagram so the lines just aren't like all crisscrossed up, and just go ahead and do the lowest side up to the reservoir, and the other one over there. All right, guys, both hoses are on, attached. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and get the bolt and get this thing up into place. All right, guys, all bolted up, good to go. There's a little view from it down here. That is awesome, perfect, man. So as you guys can see, that's why I'm trying to find a way from the bumper to get air in through here. Because no matter what, it's gonna hit and go right back in there and hit it, so. Alrighty, everything is uh, all cleaned up. I went ahead and went back over everything and I cleaned it all up really nice. Um, now I'm not going to put any power steering fluid in it tonight or mess with it because I feel like I need to let all the water dry so if there's any kind of leaks I can instantly pinpoint them. So I'll wait for tomorrow for that. Alright guys, so now go ahead and turn our attention to the bumper. Which I'm going to do some mods to it to make up for where I put the uh, power steering cooler and I'm gonna go ahead and mod both sides and what I'm doing is I'm actually gonna be modding these holes right here I'm actually well this will be where the power steering is but I'm gonna go ahead and do both so it's not kind of oddball looking I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut this whole entire thing out just cut it all the way where that line is all the way around all right like that now we get Plum, because as you can see right now, man, there's no way air is going to get into that. I don't even understand. Like with the 06 and up, this thing isn't facing this way. It's actually facing that way, like it should, so the air can get in there. This is just stupid. I don't understand it. But as you can see, once I cut all that out, air will easily get right back in there. And that power steering cooler should just be like right here, man. So it'll be perfect. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side so it'll match. And, uh, and we'll go ahead and get some power steering fluid in the car, uh, get the system uh, bled, and be good to go, man. So, at this point, it's going to be a second for you guys and overnight for me. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace. What is up, guys? It's a new day, and uh, I'm ready to start hacking up this bumper, man. So, first things first, let me go ahead and get this, uh, this front lip off there and uh, get these things unbolted and uh, just pull them off with it and get it out of the way. All right, man, got the lip off there. It's actually crazy how flimsy this thing is without anything on there. Man, look at this bumper. This thing must have drugged so many times. <laughs> or then again, well, no, because yeah, it could be the, uh, the actual lip itself that I got on there. It's tearing it up. Oh, well. So that's a thing, like, when I paint it, like, it's going to be... The most difficult thing is going to be getting it back on here without scratching this thing, man. Because it's, it's just bound to happen. But, I guess I could look at it like, you know, I won't have to be so picky about this down in here. It won't really matter. Alright, so here's my plan here. So, what I want to do is just open this up. I'm going to do it to both sides. And I just want to cut like that right down through there. Now, I'm not, I'm not worried about that line like that. Where it's rounded. I'm actually just going to cut it straight and then straight up so it'll kind of like come to a point there and come to a point right there. Um, now I want to try to be as accurate as possible with like how straight it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tape and then just make my line as perfect as possible so I'll have a perfect line to cut with. So let me go ahead and get it taped up. Alright guys, got it all mocked up and man, I think this is going to work out amazing. So I even got the middle taped up. Um, 
So you can see it's obviously going to be much more opened up, man. And I actually took my time and measured everything to make sure that like it would actually come to a point. See how it comes up to a point like that? So I think that will really look good, man. And open up so much room. So it's like on both sides. Both sides look awesome. And the middle, I figured I'd go ahead and now just in case you guys are wondering, I'm obviously cutting on the inside of the tape all the way around. Um, yeah, and I've always, for the most part, just thought this was weird how this, like, this in here, like, slants down almost to just where it's just confined to this area is where air gets in. I didn't, never really understood that. It'd be perfect if you had an intercooler right here. If you had a small intercooler, just went right here, like everything's scooped towards that. But I'd rather have air go in and go everywhere instead of like, you know what I mean, down that way. So that's why I'm doing this and just open it up. And I've wanted to do this actually for a long time. So time to break out the Dremel and start cutting, man. As you can see, you got that side cut, man. It's opened up so much room. It's crazy. I can't wait to get this all cut up. This is awesome. So, let me get a jump over here and do this side. And actually, when I jumped on the inside to look at it, well, you guys see where I did that. If you jump on the inside, check out that cut. That's pretty smooth, man. That should look really good. So, hopefully that get that same result on all of them. guys got that side cut so now both sides are cut and look on the inside you can see that was a really nice smooth cut too man so both those sides worked out really nice so now to the centerpiece this one's gonna take a while to cut but should turn out amazing so let's get started man guys <laughs> nice all right guys got everything cut out so let me go ahead and clean up all this chaos and then we'll take a look at it all right man everything is cut cleaned up all looks really good inside as you can see those cuts turned out perfect man Well, perfect to me. So, let's go ahead and uh, strip this tape off and then see what it really looks like, man. Check it out, man. <laughs> I love it. That looks awesome, man. That looks really good. Now, I actually considered getting like some black like uh, mesh or whatever and just kind of putting it over top of that, but I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and just temporarily put the lip on here and uh, just kind of set it on the car just see what it looks like for right now all right so I just kind of pop the lip on there and uh, man as you can see like before like this part right here you can kind of see that weird stuff it just it almost flows with it better like it's perfect I love it man center so much more open yes Oh man, let's get this thing on the car, man. All right, man, you guys ready for this? I can't believe how amazing it turned out. I love it, man. It looks freaking amazing. Check this out. man 
And so the bumper is done. So, now, I'm not actually gonna put the bumper back on right now. I'm gonna actually leave it in here for probably a week or two. Reason being is that I just put money on the credit card uh, a little while ago and it'll be available to spend tomorrow and I'm gonna go ahead and order some more Spray Max 2K clear coat so we can go ahead and get this thing blacked out. I'm excited, man. Only thing I think will be different is that I think because of right now the fact that it's blue where I cut the holes and everything out it actually kind of accentuates it almost makes it you know you know what I mean like it really stands out I think once I black it out I don't think that effect will be quite as dramatic it may not be a, a bad thing but I don't know I'll just have to see man so I figured I should show you guys something I found it's kind of weird but it actually I think it's really working out to my advantage um, so if you notice on the driver's side here, it's got these vents right here. So that when the air passes through, it's literally just going to come through that hole and just pass right through. It's go straight through. Now on this side, for whatever reason, it doesn't have them. I thought that was kind of weird, but I think it'll work out in my advantage because when the air comes through here, it won't have anywhere to go but kind of circle around. And I think that's, that's going to really help cool the power steering. So yeah, I have no idea why it's like that, but uh, hey, it's kind of a bonus. What up guys, it's a new day, it's actually Friday, it's amazing outside, look at it man, it's beautiful. It's like almost 60 degrees out here, so with that being said, let me go ahead and pop the hood and uh, let's get this power steering fluid in there and get it bled man. It's actually low on coolant too, so go ahead and slap some of that in there. Alright guys, so bleeding this thing is literally the easiest thing in the world, so first thing is just pop the cap off. And let me go ahead and grab my cup of joe here. <laughs> just kidding guys, it's power steering fluid. I just ran out of bottles to put it in, so I had to put it in a coffee cup. And grab some more power steering fluid. Now, if you guys drained your whole reservoir and uh, and the cooler and everything like I did, first things first, you want to make sure that you fill this thing all the way to the top, man. Just trust me when I say this, as soon as I fire up the car, it's going to completely drain this thing. There we go. All right, so another thing you want to make sure that you do when you have it running is to go over everything and uh, make sure you don't have any leaks anywhere, so. Okay, I get it now. So the reason why it didn't drain as much as I thought it would is because the cooler I'm using now is back to the OEM size, the cooler I had the other one was twice as big, so it's taking a lot more coolant. And I had all the extra hoses and everything. Now that I shortened everything, it's super short, so that makes perfect sense though. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing bled, man. All right, so you wanna make sure you leave the cap off. Now any of the extra fluid that you guys are seeing in there, I'll just take like a turkey paste or something, just pull that out. Um, so yeah, the service manual says to, uh, just go back and forth the steering wheel about 20 times, but don't, for whatever reason, don't go full lock to lock. Just like almost halfway and halfway. So, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright, so you can see all the bubbles and everything are out of it now steady right where it's at it's obviously a little a little much in there but I'll take that out here in a minute all right guys so I just used a little syringe to pour out what little bit extra head and now it's max hot perfect and that's with the car running at max hot so 
Alright guys, so there you have it, man. So easy to bleed power steering on a Z. Probably any car, I would imagine. It's all the same. So, uh, yeah. Uh, as for the bumper, man, I'm in love with it. I just can't get over it. Oh, man. I just can't wait to see how it's actually going to look blacked out with the holes opened up like they are and then back on the car. This is going to change it completely, man. So after I get this painted, just the roof will be the last thing, man. Now, I actually need to get started on this. Make sure you guys stay tuned because I want to be starting on this uh, probably tomorrow because uh, I just checked and uh, FedEx will be delivering the clear coat for this tomorrow, Saturday, because today's Friday. Um, so I need to get started quick because I'd like to, I like to be ready to spray this thing Monday. I could probably have it ready by Sunday, but I'd rather just take my time and have everything perfect and ready because there's a lot of things I want to do to it, uh, just patching holes and cracks and stuff like that. So make sure you guys stay tuned to that. Uh, but yeah, man, that's going to wrap this one up. So if you guys like the video, man, make sure you smash that thumbs up. <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel and you want to see some more of my content, man, hit that subscribe button. And uh, peace.